Hi, boys and girls. We're going to do some more problem solving today. Are you ready to have some fun? Today, we're going to focus on our three read strategy, and we're also going to be talking about number bonds, and we're also going to use our math tool, the number path. And we're going to be acting out some problems. So are you ready to get started? Here we go. So we're going to use our three read strategy to help us kind of understand what's happening in this problem. So when I read this problem, I'm going to kind of leave out the numbers. So I see some numbers here in my problem, and I'm just going to underline them. When I read them, I'm not going to read those numbers. So Colton had some blue blocks, and Katie had some red blocks. Jorge had some yellow blocks. They put together their blocks to make a tall tower. How many total blocks did they use to make their tower? So let's first talk about what's happening in the problem. So there's a word here that we may not know, and it's a tower. Boys and girls, do you know what a tower is? Yes, it's something like really tall. So if I go like up, I may have like a tower of something. I think of like a big building, and it goes up, right? Okay. So, what's going on in this problem? How many friends are making a tower? That's right, we have three friends. Colton, Katie, and Jorge are making a tower. So, um... Let's reread it and put our numbers in. Are you ready? Okay. Colton had six blue blocks. Katie had two red blocks. Jorge had four yellow blocks. So they have different colors, don't they, boys and girls? They put together their blocks to make a tall tower. How many total blocks did they use to make their tower? Okay, do you think we could use some blocks to act out our problem? Okay, so what color would we need first? That's right, we need some blue ones and boys and girls if we're acting it out is it okay if we don't have blue could we use another color that's right we definitely could couldn't we okay here i've got some blocks okay so i have blue Can you count with me? Three, four, five, six. And how many does Katie have? That's right, Katie has red. Two, one, two. How many does Jorge have? Four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so how many different sets of blocks do we have? Let's see, we know we have these blue, and we have the red, and we have the yellow. So that's right, we have three sets. Could we show these numbers on a number bond? How many blue do we have? One, two, 
three, four, five, six. Okay, I'm going to put six on our number bond. That's how many blue blocks that we have. How many red blocks do we have? That's right, we have two. How many yellow blocks do we have? One, two, three, four. I have four. Oh, I'm not sure if you can see the yellow very well. I'm going to go over it with black. Okay, now, how, how will we show the three parts? That's right, with the six, the two, and the four. Let's see. Can we put them together? If we put them together, we know we're going to add We don't know what that equals yet, do we? If we're trying to put these total blocks together, how could we add these numbers? Let's think about how we might add these numbers. Which ones would I add first together and why? Are you thinking maybe I could add the six and the four together? Hmm. Why would I add six and four together first? How might that help us? I think some of you are remembering that six and four is special. Let's see how six and four are special. You ready? Let's add them. Let's use our number path to help us. You want to let's put it right on our number path. Five. And since I have six, the number path landed on six, right? Okay, so we're going to add our six and our four. Four yellow. Oh, boys and girls, how many do I have? If I have six blue and four yellow, I have ten. That's right, boys and girls, because six and four is one of those special numbers that add up to ten. And if I add two more, what do I get? That's right, I get 12. Give myself some space here. So if I had six, nope, that one wasn't very good, was it? I mean, write another six here. If I had six and four and that made ten, and if I had ten and added two more, that made twelve. So six plus two plus four I know equals twelve. And I could write that in my number bond. 
But I'm wondering, what if I didn't add 6 and 4 first? Let's see. Let's explore that. So I have 6 plus 2 plus 4. Let's move our blocks. So I have six blue, right? What would happen if I add something else first instead of six and four? Because you said six and four make ten really easily. Let's start with six. One. Two, three, four, five, six. So we have six blue, right? Now, let's add our two red. How many do we have? How can we tell from our number path? That's right. We had six and we added two more and our number path landed on eight. So if we have six and we count up two more, six, seven, eight. I know I have eight. And then I'm going to add my four more yellow. How many do I have? So I had eight. And I added four more yellow. How many did I have? That's right, twelve. Oh, I still came up with the same answer as when I added 6 and 4. So does it matter if I add 6 and 4 first or 6 and 2? No, it doesn't matter. Why does it not matter? Why do you think that even if I put these in different order, I'm going to get the same answer? That's right, even if these are in different order. I'm still adding the same number of objects, aren't I? Great job today. Now, let's reread our problem and see if 12 makes sense. We have to make sure that our numbers make sense, right? So Colton had six blue blocks. Well, that's what we did here. Katie had two red blocks. Jorge had four yellow blocks. They put together their blocks to make a tall tower. How many blocks did they use to make their tower? So did it make sense that we added six and two and four together to make 12? It did. It wanted to know how many total blocks did they use. So rereading that for a third time really helps us to understand. Great job today, boys and girls. Using a number bond and adding three numbers together and helping us act out the problem. Great job today.